everybody and today's video is gonna be a very exciting fashion slash try on haul of one of my oh maybe honestly my all-time favorite brand of all time I have been without the experience of shopping at this brand for oh my god how long have our stores been closed now anyway I should tell you guys what we're talking about first today we are gonna be doing a Betsy Johnson try on haul I don't have a title worked out for this video yet if you guys have literally been on my channel since absolutely day one some of the first videos I started out doing were Betsy Johnson clothing hauls like when I first started this channel that was all my wardrobe was comprised of was either thrift store goodies or clothes from Betsy Johnson and there was like nothing in between but unfortunately and I think it's because of Steve Madden so Steve Madden, I've got a bone to pick with you. Is that like a real person or is that kind of like a Fleetwood Mac thing where there is no person named Fleetwood Mac? Do you get what I'm saying? Steve Madden, are you even real? Supposedly the story was that Steve Madden had bought out Betsy Johnson, like somehow Steve Madden owned the Betsy Johnson label. I don't know if it just like wasn't profitable enough for them anymore. I think it was within the first year of me starting my YouTube channel. So like 2011, 2012, all of the Betsy Betsy Johnson stores closed forever. So like my regular full price one, we had a store that I used to go to all the time in our big mall called the Houston Galleria. All of the outlet stores closed and it was a very, very sad day for me. Betsy Johnson did come back. I don't really think she ever designs or releases clothing anymore. I think it's just like handbags, accessories, like maybe some phone cases. Earlier this year or late last year, she also debuted a makeup line don't get me wrong I love all of those things but nothing quite tickles my heart like the classic Betsy Johnson pieces I just feel like the brand resonated so much with my soul and my personality I just feel like there's always been a void in my fashion life since all of her stores closed and nothing has quite filled it and over the years I've honestly been looking on Etsy eBay etc etc to see if some people were parting with with pieces from their Betsy Johnson collection. It just seems like within the last year or so, finally a lot of this stuff surfaced or let's just say pieces that I would be interested in have surfaced. I have everything in a, in a freaking like mattress bag. Which one of these is coffee? I have a tea and a coffee. And do you guys ever do that where you like pick up a drink and you think you know what you're drinking and then you take a sip of what you're drinking and it's like, ugh, like what if, what am I, is that, is that a normal problem? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the pieces, we're gonna talk about them a little bit, and then of course I'm gonna try them on for you guys uh, so y'all can see what they look like. I really hope everything is gonna fit. Also, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm going to number each piece, like I'm gonna put a little number in the screen. I remember doing this with you guys forever ago when I would do like a multi shoe unboxing. I think I even did it when I did like original Betsy Johnson dress hauls and stuff. I would ask you guys to leave a comment down below of the numbers that were your favorite or the ones that you would wear. So I'm really excited to get the feedback from you guys today and find out which pieces are your favorites. Back to the video. I was mostly looking for pieces that I have never owned before. We'll show you guys this one piece first because I honestly think it is a piece that I have owned. I think unfortunately I lost it in Hurricane Harvey. I did lose some clothing items that were in storage and I didn't think that I lost anything like too special to me like any of my Betsy collection or anything like that but I swear I have owned this before and we Dogman and I were just digging through everything every closet everywhere every storage box that I have left we couldn't find it saw it on Etsy so I bought it so this is not too old it's probably from the early 2000 pre 2010 if I had to guess maybe 2006 2007 it has like the newer Betsy Johnson tag in it and we'll get into all these tags in just a minute. I'm gonna like break down a whole Betsy Johnson analogy for you guys today. I hope you're so excited. This is a skull cardigan and it's a pretty short 
cardigan. It's like a cropped cardigan, as I'm sure you guys can tell. Now, the only thing that I don't remember about this item is it being like kind of, it's not the softest. Like for some reason, I remembered it being like a thinner cotton, but it's not. It's kind of like a thicker, more like acrylic yarn feel. I'm kind of hoping that I can just make this more of like an everyday staple piece and maybe like the more that I wash it, somehow it will magically get softer. Okay, uh, next pieces. Everything else, items that I never owned. I was really looking for more vintage Betsy pieces, things from the late 80s, early 90s, maybe even like the early, early 2000s. But mostly what I was looking for were pieces that people describe as the Betsy punk era. It has a different style tag sewn into it. I will admit some of these pieces are way older and they do come from like 80s, 90s, but in the early 2000s, Betsy Johnson did like re-release some of her older designs again using this old hang tag. So I think sometimes like people think that they have pieces that they think are like older than what they really are. This is a piece that I was so excited to find. It's got like a mutton sleeve on it. I just love that because it is kind of like a call to the Victorian era. You guys know I just eat that up like butter. This is so soft. Feels almost like, like a terry cloth or something. It's like a very thin, soft bath towel. It laces kind of corset style all down the front. Stuff like this doesn't really bother me, but I don't know, it's like, it is kind of silly, but there is like this stain on the front. I have washed all these items once already. It's so weird, it almost looks like marker or SpaghettiOs, I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions on maybe how I can get this stain out, I don't really feel like it's that noticeable though. But I don't know. You guys let me know on a scale of one to SpaghettiO how much of an uh-oh that is. Here is the next piece, which has to be a little bit more modern. I don't specifically remember seeing this. It has a newer hang tag on it. I believe this was being sold as an item from the 80s. Maybe it is. I'm kind of thinking that it's not. What do I care? I like it, it's cute. It kind of reminded me of some of my favorite Betsy pieces, which are these dresses that have ruffles on them, have that dress in black and purple because I loved it so much, so I bought it in two different colorways. This piece reminded me a lot of that, except for I felt like it gave me more styling flexibility because it just has a suspender top, so it's a separate. So I can combine it with whatever top I want to, and I thought that this would work really well with a lot of my black milk. I think they're called like wifey tops. I have a bunch of them in a lot of really cute designs and patterns. I think this piece is so cute. I love the print because far away it looks like a leopard print, but up close you can tell that it's actually little flowers. The next piece is one of the more expensive pieces. This is kind of like one of those pieces where I'm like, oh, it's kind of dressy, but I also perceive it as super casual, so I don't know. This has a very old hang tags in it. It's actually red. I feel like the sizing is all over the place with these pieces. Sometimes you will see like a small, I feel like encompassing like two to four and then you'll have this be four to six. It doesn't make any sense though because P should be smaller than small. So I don't know. This is a very beautiful rose print, kind of longer dress, like past the knee. It has pockets. I just thought the design and the coloring and everything was so gorgeous and it's just very, very Betsy to me. It almost reminds me of the dressing room curtains that used to be in all the stores. It was like roses, very pink. I was actually trying to buy some of the dressing room curtains. The fancy store, like not the outlet store closed, they were selling everything, like the signage, the fixtures, the dressing room curtains, like everything. I tried to buy them, but somebody else like came in and bought them all and I was like, ooh. I will go ahead and show you guys this one because it's kind of similar to the item I just showed you guys. It's the same, but different. This piece, I do believe, either was well, well loved and whoever owned it before me, however many people owned it before me, just loved it and wore the sandwich out of it and that's why it's so faded. Or this piece is actually one of the older pieces 
and kind of the styling of it makes me think that it's older as well. Oh my god, the pocket is sticking out. I'm sure you guys can see like right off the bat the similarity to the last piece and it actually has the same like scoop in the back. This is like a little romper. I don't know how we would call this. Romper? Unitard? Onesie? No, Unitard has to be like slick to your body, I think. You'll see what I mean. The only thing that does make me nervous about pieces with open backs like this is like my bra is just gonna be everywhere, hanging out, showing itself to everybody all over the world. Look at this. Like somebody even like shortened the straps. The straps have little knots tied in them. So yeah, this is definitely a very loved piece. The next like, whoo, this is kind of like the most like showstopper piece in the entire collection. I think that this one is gonna have to be older because I've never seen it and it does look like a very like flashy, like more like 80s, 90s kind of style. It is kind of a jumpsuit. It's sort of like the purple striped like bath towel shirt I showed you guys a while ago where it has these puffy sleeves. We have a little bit of corset lacing in the back so that you can tighten it. It is just a really pretty fuchsia corduroy onesie. Once again, I don't I don't know why I'm so confused about what these things are called. Shirt with pants attached. Something about it really did appeal to like both sides of my soul, which is like very vintage 80s, 90s, and also Victorian. So this is just kind of like my personality represented in a piece of clothing. Next super casual comfy piece is this really cool cardigan and it it honestly reminded me of the X-Files. So that's kind of what made me whoo, like just push to make that leap. This is the one item that I bought off of eBay. I'm definitely not disappointed. This is still kind of like a little bit less soft than normally I would prefer my cardigans to be. It once again, kind of feels like that acrylic-y kind of material versus a cotton, but it is much softer than the skulls. I hope once I just keep like wearing these items in and, and laundering them a lot, they might soften up some. Last piece is this really cute dress, which I have had saved in my Etsy wish list for probably over a year. And it's such a cute dress. I'm so shocked it was still there. You guys have to let me know, would y'all like for me to do another one of those like buying my Etsy wish list videos? I had a lot of fun doing those early last year and I only did like two or three of them and then I stopped, but you guys really did seem to enjoy the ones I did. So let me know if that's something you'd like to see again. This is the cute little dress that I bought. It's like a very basic black, almost tutu style dress. I think it's technically meant to be off the shoulder, which is very cute, but also sometimes a little challenging to style. Also the skirt part, I do believe is just completely sheer. When they were modeling it on Etsy, it definitely looked very sheer, but let's put it on for ourselves and see exactly how sheer it is. <sighs> anyway, we have talked. We have tried on a lot of things. I almost said we cried, but there is no tears today except for the tears in my heart that Betsy Johnson just really doesn't exist in this capacity anymore. And now that I've done like a haul, I feel like I miss it more than ever. I feel like, and you guys probably saw when I was modeling these pieces, even though I do like jump around and have a lot of fun with fashion usually on this channel, but it is just something about when my body is in Betsy Johnson clothing. I feel like it almost just accentuates my personality somehow. These clothes just express more to me how I feel feel on the inside and like how I see myself in my own mind. Does that make any sense? Like if I was gonna design an avatar for myself, not the blue baby kind of avatar, but like if I was gonna be, oh my God, like that game Second Life, you know, where you just like design yourself in virtual reality, an avatar. I'm sure I didn't need to provide you guys with the definition of what avatar means. This is how I would dress myself is in like Betsy Johnson-esque clothing. Love the prints, love the patterns, love the fit. Love everything about it. Wish it was easier to access. Access. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. I am hot. I am sweating. I'm pretty sure my eyelashes are leaving as they always do. So you guys are going to have to let me know. Did you enjoy this video? And would you like for me to do another one in the future? I have honestly been finding these pieces over the course of the past couple of months. I probably couldn't do it 
too quickly again, but let me know if you guys are interested and if y'all enjoyed today's video. I feel like it was such a throwback, especially for you OG Swamp Fam out there. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye!